Okay, so this is uh, actually pretty funny. I was like screaming like, fuck no, or fuck me at the end of my last video because my phone died. As soon as my phone died, I just screamed, fuck me. I was in the middle of a, I was in the middle of a science note. I got my pupper right here. What's up? This is Roxy. She's my little baby. Anyway, um, I was saying that your heart dials you into the frequency of the earth realm that you want. This is why, and I'm starting to wonder why Nikola Tesla, first of all, Nikola Tesla is probably the smartest man in history. And I'm the smartest woman in history. If you can compliment somebody else and you have great goals, why not compliment yourself the same way that you compliment your idols? And maybe one day you'll become them. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, anyway, uh, so the way that you, um, well, there's, I'm, I'm, I'm going to change the topic to alchemy real quick. Uh, the way that you perform alchemy is, well, it's just using love in a new way. It's, it's recognizing that everything is energy around us and that using your heart di to dial into things. I mean, even that's alchemy. That's alchemy right there. It's turning lead to gold. It's turning one frequency into another. And that's how you turn lead to gold. You just turn one frequency. You just change the radio station. Think about that. You just change the fourth or fifth dimensional radio station with higher dimensional shapes. Now I'm thinking about literally turning lead to gold and how that would actually work. Because you can't actually turn one thing into the other. What you're really doing is shifting through the frames of time really fast and using higher dimensional geometry. I mean, it's really simple. If you look at Carl Sagan's uh, example of the fourth dimension, example of the fourth dimension uh, on, um, on YouTube, what I'm talking about right now is basic physics. Basic string theory. Basic M theory. Uh, and <clears throat> I'm just a physics student, but I'm also a physics teacher because I am one who teaches physics. I like science. I teach it. I learn it. I teach it. I learn it on my own. I learn it. I learned some at school. I've taken some physics classes at school, um, at college. I'm a college student, by the way. <clears throat> but uh, the heart... Oh, oh, the Heart Math Institute has also proven uh, that we create our reality before, or we exp uh, we can have uh, sensory. Uh, we, we our heart is clairvoyant, I guess is what I'm trying to tell you. Our heart can tell the future before it happens, and there's a Heart Math Institute um, experiment where the heart lit up. Uh, the heart detected uh, a frequency before it detected an experience before the third dimensional person experienced it through their five senses and this is a uh, phenomenal for science but it's underground it's phenomenal for, for science because it proves uh you know the fourth and the fifth dimension it proves like these experience frames i call them experience frames these time frames that exist outside of the the now the co well the cosmic now uh the cosmic now these are terms that i'm just making up but I'm also uh, laying down the foundation for future physicists to latch onto these terms because they are beyond helpful. And every word in the dictionary was created at one point. So when there's new science terms on deck, new words need to be found <clears throat> or invented. I mean, a word is just an invention anyway. Uh, a word is just an invention. Look at all the words in the dictionary. Words are inventions too. Think about it. Uh <sighs> All these, all this energy is just flowing through me. So yeah, um, this is just a continuation because I didn't want to just scream "fuck me" at the end of my last video and and just leave you hanging. So I was gonna talk more about the the heart chakra, and uh, uh, I needed that because at first I was like so pissed off. I was like, "No, damn it, fuck me!" I'd, all I did is I screamed "fuck me," and then I and then I was like, I I don't know. It was, it was just. It was a catastrophe. I was pissed off because I was like, all the downloads were coming through me, and I was going good, and I was flowing, I was in the energy flow state, I was like, and the chakras, and this and that, and then this is how it works. I was in flow state, bro. I was in flow state with them downloads, yo. I really was. And it's just, my phone just fucking died, so now I've got it, like, on the charger. I'm hooked up to the charger right now, hooked up sitting next to the wall, uh, sitting with a charger in the wall, which I shouldn't be because uh, energy should be free, and uh, because it can be. 
It should be. be. Energy should be free because it can be. That is a simple quote right there. It's a very simple quote. Energy should be free because it can be, and all it needs to be is declassified. That's it. That's a liter literally it. But, um, aside from the that, the, the physics part, the physics is on point. I mean, I've been thinking about fourth and fifth dimensional wavelengths nonstop lately, and they've been thinking about me, too. Uh, I know that sound makes no sense. It's, it's a poetical joke that I was making, um, <clears throat> uh, right then and there. Oh, the wavelengths are thinking about me, too. It's a, Once again, it's a concept, uh, I wish I could, uh, share my perspective, like, with remote viewing t to you, um, where I could, uh, take the energy that I'm feeling in my heart and send it right to you so you could understand how I was feeling about that. I guess I was just trying to share my exact perspective, and I, I mean, you can do that, like, with alchemy. Uh, a master technique to... It's just energy, uh... It's just the way the energy works. Like, you can... The things that I want to teach, I can't really put into human words, uh, very easily. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna end this video right here because, uh, I don't want to trail on. And I just didn't want to explain... I just wanted to get on camera and finish any last random thoughts that I had about energy frequency and vibration and tuning the heart. I guess I could, um, call this video Tuning the Heart. Uh, Tuning the Heart Radio. T tuning the Heart Dial. Just tuning the heart. Yeah, I could call it that. Part two. I wish I had my pyramid necklace. Uh, the string is broken. I want to go to Earth lore. Damn it. That's where I got my necklace. And, uh... Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. 